What's going on, everyone? Wrench. This episode of Hard Sand Cigars. Coming in with the Davidoff 702 2000 series. This is a sexy stick. 43 by 5 and a 16th. The wrapper is Ecuadorian, binder Ecuadorian, and filler is, I believe, Dominican. Let me see here. Kind of veiny. I mean, there's some, some big veins, man. Like this thing's been uh, pumping a little iron, doing a little heavy lifting, kind of all swelled up. Got the veins, got the blood working. Light, earthy coffeeness right off that wrapper. Sweet earthiness off the foot. Let's see what we get off uh, cold draw. A bit of like maybe a light roast. Pairing it again today with a Paps Blue Ribbon Prost. Hopefully this lighter works out here. It's a little bit breezy. So now finally got a good light. Let's go ahead and uh, see how she treats us. Definitely kind of florally. Earthiness, some floral. Right off them first couple of uh, pulls. Draw. Effortless on that draw. little pepper spice right on the lips so if you're new to the channel here hope you hit that subscribe button hit the like button um, for all my returning folks just to let you know I am going to be doing a short hiatus from the cigar from the food I know I got into a little bit of it On Thursdays live and I don't know I haven't been feeling the reviews I know the weather's been up here in Wisconsin it's been hella shitty bipolar as hell um, so it's been hard to even get good times to even shoot reviews today I mean we're in the 60s it's a little breezy but the sun's out um, and right now it's just amazing out right now um, so I decided to shoot one, but I am going to be on a little hiatus until I would say early June, maybe June 10th, 10th, 12th, 13th, somewhere I'm going to be coming back. Just do it, try to just revamp, come up with some fresh ideas, fresh styles for the reviews, for the food videos just I don't know get back to kind of finding some love of it you know been shot three four cigar reviews maybe the same amount in food and got done going through editing doing all the bullshit for it went ahead and watched it and I'm like fucking hate it delete next one hate it delete you know and then I got couple hours into adding all this shit just to go and filming just to go fuck it delete delete you know and I just 
just haven't been feeling it. So I'm going to take a little time off. I don't know if you can see that, but man, it's like uh, got some little hollowed out, little hollowed out spots right down there. Hmm, kind of strange. Smoke output's good. Got a little bit of that black pepper spice, that underlying uh, floral notes. But smooth. Some very light creaminess towards the back end of it. Well, let's go ahead. I'm going to put a little time in on this drink. And this cigar. We're going to see how she goes in a little while. So stay tuned. Back. Coming in right about here. That burn... That's pretty razor sharp for the most part. Be real honest, uh, <clears throat> those kind of florally earthy, some sweetness, that kind of coffee note has gone away. And right now I've got like a pretty bitter light roast coffee going on. And that, that bitterness is, yeah, it's a little bitter. You know, I don't know if it had anything to do with the uh, tunneling type burn that I had before. Um, you know, it didn't feel tight or loose anywhere. It felt like a pretty decent draw, a pretty decent construction. The draw is still nice. Besides that bitterness, I mean, it's smooth. That light creaminess in the back, still slightly there. You know, it's like a medium roast coffee that definitely could use just a, you know, a couple of sugar cubes in there just to kind of sweeten it up. And, you know, and if you haven't been checking out the Thursdays, we've had killer people on. Um, you can go over to Big D505, his page, and you can check out, re-watch uh, some of the Thursday stuff if you have missed it. Um, this last week's when uh, my guy from uh, There You Have It, Cigar and Food Reviews, he came on to fill D's spot for half the show until D popped on later because he had to work late. But we've been having some killer guests on. Probably just going to slow up just a little bit on the, the big time guests. I know D's got something going on this next week. So there you have it. They're going to show back up. Hmm. I don't know if you drink a lot of Paps when you're smoking cigars. But Paps goes great with a cigar if you're interested. I'm going to get a little further into this. I'm going to hope that bitterness kind of goes away and just blows up into something amazing. But uh, till then, I keep smoking on this. We are back. Just took that wrapper off. Be real honest with you. That bitterness is still there. Um, light little creaminess still there. But uh, pretty much all I'm getting right now is the bitterness. It has not faded or tamed. <laughs> Fuck, there ain't no place like home. About to click my heels three times, man. It's fucking windy. God damn. 
So that's where I'm about to put that out. Okay, we are going to go to with the rating scale now. Um, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go a seven out of ten, and that's just because the first half of that cigar was very delicious. Last half, um, not so delicious. That the last half was like a send your meal back to the kitchen. Ah, uh, man, but the paps was good. Having you guys here watching was good, and uh, like I said, I'll be back in about, I'd say maybe 40 days, and we'll be rocking hard again. So, uh, till then, Prost. If you're new, go back, rewatch a bunch of the old stuff that's out there. Tons of videos out there, tons of good reviews, and stay tuned for the Thursday. Prost.